introduce the wedding party and then the reason why we're here this evening. So DJ, you can do the music. And then we have Robin Davis and Chris Lemoine. And after them, we have Kamisha Clark and Patrick Fuyal. Ooh, I should have rehearsed these names. Charlie McLaughlin and Marcel Blouin. Sorry, French. <laughs> and now we have Ashley Kading and Travis Boncha. Jude Rothlin and Ben Fuyal. All right, and now the reason we are here. Everyone, please stand if you can and join me in welcoming the newlyweds, Camille and Megan Blouin. know me. I'm sorry, you've been missing out your entire life. Oh, DJ, cut it out. Oh, you like it? there goes my first joke, fell flat. Uh, my name is Elise, and I'm one of Camille's five siblings. Oh. Maybe, let's try again. I have to come closer, okay? Don't mind, Don't mind me. <laughs> okay, we'll try that. We'll try this, maybe? Okay. I'm gonna restart. For those who don't know me, my name is Elise, and I'm one of Camille's five siblings, and probably the shyest. So I'm not sure why Camille and Megan asked me to be their MC, but here I am. I mean, it really probably is because I have an award-winning personality. <laughs> okay, so before we get into the fun stuff, I do have some housekeeping. So we've rec the bride and groom have requested no clinking of the glasses. Instead, you're going to come up, spin this wheel, and whatever it lands on, the bride and groom have to do. Or maybe you, or there's a few different rules. Just read. Next, dinner is buffet style, so I'm going to be calling tables. What you're going to do is you're going to come outside, you're going to go around, grab your plate, and then come back in. Okay. Oh, I'm also everyone's favorite matant. Hi. Um, so you're gonna go outside, grab your food, and come back in. If it's easier for you to just go directly to the buffet line, you can do that as well. But for the tables up here, come around the corner. Um, there's washrooms throughout the park. 
They are porter potties, so if you don't have a good aim, maybe you should sit down. Let's try to keep them as tidy as possible. Well, there's one women, one men, so pick your lane. Uh, the Bouncy Castle, Castle will be running all night, so the kids can bounce till they're sick. And then this evening, there will be a late night Putsin bar around 10 p.m., so you might want to stick around. We have Mum's Famous Gravy. And then under the centerpieces on all of your tables, there are tickets that you can bring to the bar to redeem for some wine bottles. So someone from the table can do that for the group. Um, I think that's everything. Macy, you gotta go see. Yeah, I'm gonna come dance in a bit. All right, so a couple more things I wanna say and then we're gonna start eating. So the best part about being an MC is being able to share stories and set the mood for the evening. So before dinner starts, I'd like to set the mood. I was born December 15th, 1987. Kidding, 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 kidding. It's not about me, it's about Cam and Megan. Camille, our little Tonto with the lizard nose. You have always been such a sweet, loving, caring little brother. Despite you rapping lyrics at four years old, thanks to Ryan, throwing rocks at a school bus, pretending to be a SWAT team and terrorizing an old man, or killing mom's woodpeckers. As the baby of the family, you had five older siblings to wear out mom and dad. So you had it pretty easy. No job at the cafe other than sampling chocolate milk. <laughs> Playing hockey, even though you and Real were way too soft for sports. Us older siblings, just to paint a picture, if we had a big party on Saturday night and we always had to go to church on Sunday, we would have to go to church Saturday night. So we spent our evenings, you know, praying and getting ready before the parties, whereas Camille, he had access to my parents' car, which he put like 50 kilometers in one summer, 50,000 kilometers in one summer, 100,000. Palette also helped him with that. Oops, I lost my place. Um, he had a smoking habit, I think by 14. He also had girlfriends in high school. Now, if there's any Catholics in the room, you knew that was like, it wasn't happening before at least 18. Worse yet, they were able to come over to the house. Quoi? That's French for what the F. Anyway, despite our parents' leniency, you turned out to be an incredible man and the same qualities you possessed as a little boy, sweet, loving, and caring, it what is what makes you the most incredible papa to Jacob and Liam, and what's gonna make you the best husband to Megan. Now for Megan. <clears throat> when we first found out Camille was dating someone, we, as in my sisters and my mom, hired our private in-house detective, Palette. <laughs> we asked her to find out everything she could about this Megan girl. Now, if anyone knows Palette and Camille, they are thick as thieves. Being the babies of the family, they really had to stick together. Palette and Palette was going to make damn sure Megan was a good one. So she got back to us literally after half an hour, and the report kind of went like this. She's from Binscarth. Ooh, good, local girl. Camille won't be far from his mummy. <laughs> Works at the bank. Oh, good at spending. I mean, saving, saving money. <laughs> Owns her own house. Even better, Camille will be out very soon. <laughs> She's younger, but not too young. Fertile Myrtle, we love our babies. <laughs> and then Palette informed us that she found that thing. The one thing no decent family wants to hear, and we weren't sure we could ever accept it. But it was three simple words. Saskatchewan Rough Riders. <laughs> that, was, that was a tough pill to swallow that day. Megan, despite your love of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, we knew that you were the girl for us. Never mind Camille, he's easy. He gets that from my dad. Uh, the real test is four sisters, a sister-in-law, four... Hello? Yeah, I'm almost done. Yeah, well then we're gonna spit. 
Sorry. The real test is four sisters, a sister-in-law, four brother-in-laws, 13 nie nieces and nephews, and a mother-in-law, of course. But Megan, you joined our family with an open heart, and it's hard to imagine a time when you weren't a part of it. Camille and Megan, enjoy your evening, and we love you. Now, we're going to eat. Oh. All right, so before we start our meal, we're just going to invite Uncle Conrad to come up to say a blessing. Right, Dad? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uncle yeah. Conrad. Yeah, you guys need to listen. This is Mano Kamen that helped me see wedding. And when it's our turn, we're going to spin it. Okay? Well, you guys are going to wait your food. Thank you, uh, Elise. Before I uh, bless the food, I think it's appropriate if I could share this little story with you. And it goes like this. It might even touch on Camille and Megan, I'm not sure. A young couple just got engaged. And so she thought that this would be a good time for her fiance to meet her parents. So she brought him over for supper one evening. After supper, the father asked the young gentleman to join him in the living room. So asked the father, you want to marry my daughter? Yes, replied the young man. Will you be able to provide a home for her? Oh, don't worry, sir. God will provide. And should you be blessed with children, will you be able to provide for my grandchildren? Again, the young man responded, God will provide. Every question that the father asked, the young man would always answer, God will provide. And now it was time for the husband and his wife to go to bed. And so she asked her husband, how was your conversation with our future son-in-law? Well, said the husband, I found out one thing. And what is that, asked the wife. Well, answered the husband, he thinks I'm God. <laughs> And for the blessing this evening, I'm going to do a blessing from the heart. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the gift of life, the gift of love, and the gift of family. And we give you thanks for the food that Mother Earth provides for us. We ask you to bless this food. And we ask you to bless Megan and Camille on such a special day as husband and wife. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. One who eats the fastest will get the most. Thank you. <laughs> Where's my hostess? Yeah, and come. All right, so now we're ready for dinner, supper. I forget which one. Again, being French, it's hard. Okay. So, oh, eat. Oh. All 
All right, so the first table to go up for dinner is going to be the head table. So you guys can get out, go around. Ladies, you guys can go around that way, follow. And then all the tables up front here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All of you can go up and get dinner. Also, if you're getting cake from the dessert bar later, the chocolate cake does have nuts in it. Okay, go eat. All right, we're all here, we're ready to start. All right, everyone, so we're in the final stretch, 45 minutes max, and we should have everything wrapped up. Oh, my mic cut out again, we're good, okay. So believe it or not, but Camille has a total of 39 first cousins. French Catholic, am I right? Anyone? And out of all those cousins, two are on the stage with him. Spotting one of them is like spotting Sasquatch. Sorry, Marcel. And the other one, well, he needs no introduction. Everyone's favorite cousin. I'd like to invite the best man to the stage, Philip Blouin. Yeah. This. Uh, I do. What do I do? Just Just talk talk in the Hello, everybody. I am Phil, Cam's first cousin. And you know, I was very blessed when Cam asked me to be his best man because I knew from right out the gates that him and I were going to be through thick and thin, always together. It started off when uh, Cam used to always come over for sleepovers and we used to have to draw a straw here who got to bath with each other. And you know, I used to always get so upset when I never got to bath with Cam because I was always stuck with Mars, either try to drown me or GB would either just fight and swear and this and that. And whenever Cam and I got it, we were ecstatic. But when I turned 16 and we finally got the shower together, it was a totally different story, so it was all good. <laughs> but through thick and thin, I got a lot of stories about Cam that way it could go off and off and off, but a lot of you guys wouldn't understand them. But no matter when and where Cam was in my life, he was always there for me. It didn't matter if it was three in the morning, nine at night, he needed a driver, he'd be there. And when Cam, when I first saw Cam fall in love with Megan, I knew right there and then that, you know, that's old fashioned love and you don't see that anymore in today's age. And it's quite nice to see, it's quite nice to, you know, learn from him and see how he's developed these big old daddy skills that I like. And you know, I always knew one day Cam was gonna turn out to be a Dilf, so I always had that in mind. That's a dad I'd like to fish with, you know, you guys keep your mind out of the gutter here. <clears throat> And just the way that Cam looks at Megan, just when you see the sparkle in his eye, you just knew right from out the gates that she's the one. And we are so thankful that you are in our family now, that you get to share the legacy of the Blue One name. You know, it goes a long way, you know. I was established in 1995, bless my parents over there, you know, cold winters. It was nice. <laughs> but to keep it short and sweet, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I learned from Cam that I developed on my highs and my lows. He was always there for me, no matter when I needed him. And just growing and watching the love that he has for Megan is just unbelievable. So I like to keep it short and sweet and wing it. And so here it is. <laughs> uh. And everyone raise your glasses up right now to cheers Cam and Megan, please and thank you. If you're drinking, non-drinking, I don't care what you're doing. Let's go. Hey, John, there we go, everybody. That's John Fulliard right there with the water. Let's keep him, in, keep him intact for the evening. But yeah, that's it, that's her. And I guess uh, runner-up is uh, Haley Johnson. So, no pressure. Phil, you're stealing my thunder. I introduce people. Huh? You're stealing my thunder. Uh, sorry. Now, just kidding. <laughs> Actually, Haley, if you are ready, it is your turn. She's a little nervous, so everyone, let's cheer her on.
side. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hey, the other way. I'm looking at Megan. I, I, I can't. <laughs> Today, we are celebrating Megan and Cam. Megan, you look very beautiful today. Cam, you have a beautiful wife. <laughs> I know that I'm having a great, great time celebrating today and I hope you all are too. For those who don't know me, I, my name is Haley and Megan is my best friend in the entire world. <laughs> I want to share a few words about this special day with everyone. Megan and I have been best friends since we were in grade six. So today has been quite a few years that we have spent together. Um, of course, we didn't. Oh shit! Is that working? Um, so, of course, we didn't start as best friends, but when Megan first moved to Vinsgarth, I actually thought she was a little bit weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> of course, she had her own opinion of me, and she thought I was a little bit mean, I guess. <laughs> but obviously, that turned out not to be v true, because I had the absolute honor of, being, of getting to stand by her side today and watch her get to marry her other best friend. Um, but I do stand by my initial assessment of Megan just a little bit. <laughs> Growing up with Megan was honestly my favorite part of my childhood. The many late night sleepovers and endless silly photo shoots on our digital cameras. <laughs> Through the ups and downs of both of our lives, the times that we have needed each other most in and the time she has needed me, we have. <laughs> we have always been there for each other. <laughs> Megan, I can't imagine a world where I didn't have you as my best friend. <laughs> crying like a lot. <laughs> um, you might be surprised but, to know, but Megan and I have been preparing for this day for quite a while. In fact, we, when we were in school, we used to write each other these cheesy little friendship letters about how one day we would be each other's maid of honor and of course aunties to each other's children. <laughs> Turns out we were right. Now I have a daughter and she has her handfuls with the twins. <laughs> Tyrell must have wanted to have the first go at me being the maid of honor. Right, Meg? <laughs> Megan is such a special person and I always worried that she wouldn't ha be able to find someone as good enough for her. In my mind, no one possibly could be amazing as she is. Thankfully, Cam proved me wrong and he treats her so well. These two are the perfect pair, sharing their love and support for one another. Now they are taking their first steps towards husband and wife. Megan, I am so happy that you have found someone so special to spend your life with. Cam, thank you for, so, for being such a source of love and support for Megan, and I hope you know there is some, definitely some joint family vacations in the future. <laughs> You two are going to lead an amazing life together, and we hope we are also very excited to see what memories you will make. Congratulations, you two, to Mr. and Mrs. Bluin. All right, so now it's my parents' turn, Mona and Roland, if you can come up to the podium and share some wisdom and toast to the bride and groom. Well, no, I mean, your speech, your speech is kind of like a toast, Dad. Oh, my God, 
aucune idée qui c'est qui a mis ça son speech. Je sais pas. No, it's nothing. Yeah. Where do you want me to hide? Right there. Oh, I'm shy, I'll hide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I'll have to speak for the two of us. <laughs> Megan and Cam, wow, beautiful. Megan, I was trucked when I seen you. We are very proud of you both. Today's your day, Megan, you shine. Mona and I and the whole family are overwhelmed to have you in our family. Not did we gain a daughter-in-law, but for us, another daughter. Corey, Kara, thank you. We get to share your daughter. <laughs> the first day we met Megan, Cam phoned us, says, Mom, Dad, I'm bringing my girlfriend over for supper. Wow. So and that was maybe an hour prior, so what are we going to have for supper? We're a little nervous. Cam's bringing his girlfriend. When Megan walked in, it was just like a breeze. She fit right in, she wasn't shy, she spoke. Man, it was quite easy to have her around. When they left, I told Mona, she's a keeper. <laughs> I hope Cam sees the gem that he's found. I'm kind of lost in my notes here. <laughs> We seen that first, when we first met him too, there was quite the spark between them. We, like, I told Mona, Cam is Twitter pated. <laughs> if you guys are familiar with Bambi on the, that cartoon, <laughs> Cam was Twitter pated. <laughs> and the spark, they proved to be a pretty good spark. They, <laughs> they, they brought upon, they brought us Jacob and Liam, two beautiful babies. Keep them coming. <laughs> Cam and Megan, it won't always be peachy to work on a marriage. The only thing I can tell you is talk. Talk it out, don't go to bed angry. Cam, for you especially, these are a couple words that you need to always keep in mind. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. I love you. So if you can keep that little sentence, you guys will have many, many years to come. So in saying this, Cam and Megan, we're very proud of you both. You guys look beautiful today. You proved to be excellent parents. You guys with Jacob and Liam, I was just flabbergasted. You guys are doing a real good job. And also, by the way, Megan, now that I've, our family, I've, that's all the in-laws I can gain. Chelsea says, yes. Now her and Chelsea can sit at a family gathering and start talking about the blue ones, what they can <laughs> pick on us. <laughs> Anyways, congratulations, Cam and Megan, and hopefully you guys are gonna have many, many, many years of love and enjoy each other. All right, that was very nice. They, they wrote their speech on the way to the ceremony, so they, they pulled it off quite nicely. So next, we'd like to invite the parents of the bride up, Kara and Corey, to give a few words to the newlyweds. And they may be accompanied by Jacob, maybe, I don't know. Oh, oh, Liam, whoopsies.
So first of all, I'd like to thank everybody, all the relatives and friends from, from far and drove a long ways to come to this and take part in uh, Megan and Cam's wedding. Thank you very much. I think we've turned out into a beautiful day having you all here and your smiles and your cheering and everything's great. So we'd like to thank you all for coming. Uh, we'd like to thank Roland and Mona for sure for raising such a wonderful son. Uh, again, when we first met Cam, when he came to, the, to our place and we got to visiting with him, we knew he was a special man at that time. And I always kept saying, I don't know if anybody's as good. Uh, sorry, snort. Okay. I kept thinking, my first daughter, we got to find the right man. And uh, when he walked in the door, I knew it right away. Uh, first of all, he likes hunting, so that's really good. <laughs> And he's pretty good shot too. I don't know if he's as good as his dad yet, but he's getting there. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's, we just knew. And then the next step in that was uh, the announcement of having two boys coming. First was one, that took us by shock. And when the second one was announced to us, we were in real shock. And I'll tell you, in all of our time, and my time being around kids and parents and stuff, I know there's one dad out there that I'd want to be my dad too, and it's Cam. What a dad. There's nothing gonna happen with those boys that he ain't watching, so. Yeah. So now we passed on our daughter to him with great honor, and, and uh, we're so blessed to have that. Megan was always our special little one, and you know, at the beginning, and we're always watching her, and then Ashley come along, and we watched her grow, and as these two grow, we keep thinking, okay, what's best for them? They just find it. They always do. And uh, anyway, Megan, you found the best man in Cam, and we're so happy and proud of you. So, and, and to the wedding party, you all look fantastic. We're proud of you all, too, so... Keep it up and have a good time tonight. And uh, again, all of you too, thank you very much for coming and having a good time and celebrating with us. Please drive home safe tonight and uh, let's have fun. Thanks, Car oh, yeah, that's on. Thanks, Karen Corey. Um, I think we could both say that those from both parents, those were such loving words and some great advice in those words. Fun fact, Karen and Corey have been married for 26 years and Mona and Roland for 38 years, which means they know what they're talking about. I'm just taking notes as a young couple myself, over there, the lucky gent. And I'm sure in this room, there's a lot of young couples. Um, I've, you know, my parents are always giving it advice. Sometimes we want it, sometimes we don't, but I know there's some good golden nuggets in there. And I think what I've learned, especially from my dad over the years, and I really think this is the key to a successful marriage. And I think you would agree, dad. So. I think the secret to a successful marriage is to keep the fights clean and the sex dirty. <laughs> I mean, at least that's what I got from my dad. I don't know. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> All right. So now um, I'd like to invite Camille and Megan to the stage and finish the evening off. We made it, everyone.
Okay. So I didn't really write. I didn't really write anything. I didn't really have a lot of time to, to be honest with you. <laughs> She's been a rough, a rough few weeks, months, if I wow. might say that. Um, but honestly, I just I want to thank all friends and family for coming out and coming to celebrate me and Cam, and we just we're so grateful for all all everyone in our lives and especially our <laughs> wedding party <laughs> helping me through some tough times <laughs> and there's enough of them so i would say it's uh <laughs> it's pretty yeah we we're really grateful and yeah friends and family just you're all you've always been in my life so ever since i was obviously little it's just been a you know <laughs> i've non-stop memories I've, I don't think I've forgotten one memory, so <laughs> you guys have made an impact on me, so. And to the Bluins, I don't know, I have, I've, I have no words for you guys because you guys have just been so, like, welcoming to me and every single one of you, and <laughs> it's just been a, it's been a journey these past, what, three years, I guess? <laughs> But yeah, I love every single one of you guys and you've you've welcomed me into the family with with open arms and I would I would take you guys <laughs> over a gunshot in a heartbeat. So <laughs> thank you guys for everything you've done for me. So that's what I have to say. Well, thanks for everybody for coming. I'm glad to see you guys all here. <laughs> the food was wonderful. Thank you. Beautiful food. That's Charlene and Kevin McCarthy from Chicken Chef Russell. Woo! Now, now, I may, I may as well say this. These. These guys have been my family for many years as well, and I thought it was only right to pick them as my caterers, and they did a friggin' phenomenal job. Can I, can I, get, a, can I get a clap for that? Thank you guys so much. I don't know what else to say. Oh, yes. Yeah, you could. And I want to thank our MC for the amazing work that she's done today. We were a little bit late on schedule here today, but her and the caterers kind of got it together for us. <laughs> but yeah, we want to thank everyone for coming, basically. So that's about it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it for this evening. Just a heads up, we're going to be taking down some uh, tables in the back there for the dance floor. The wedding party is going to go take a few last photo, oh, a few last photos, and then they'll be back so everyone can chat with them, give them a hug. But before we close out. Wedding party, bride and groom. There's a little something under your chair. If you guys can all get up and take a peek and try to find it. Under your chair, yeah. You guys see anything? There's nothing there, I just wanted to mess with you guys. <laughs> Yeah, oy vey. That was an easy one. That was an easy one. Um, but uh, I think I think that's it for the evening. I'm just joking. Um, so yes, we're taking down tables. Go get some cool breeze, some air, walk around. Careful by the river. Get home safe. And that's that.